Hi folks, this is Megan and you answering questions from the Study Sex College Tour. And today we're going to be talking about partners and desire and sexual activity. So uh, this question that was uh, asked me is written down as, I'm not sexually active. How do I make my partner happy when I'm not interested in having sex? Okay, so we have different options that we are going to go through. It's going to be a pretty complicated video but it's gonna be short, so I'll have your attention. If you're not interested in sex, there could be various issues going on or just things to know. One, you may not be a sexual person. There is more and more information that is coming out regarding asexuality. Asexuality, asexuality is someone who is not interested in being sexual with other people. Some asexuals have sexual desire, but they don't have it with other people. Some asexual people have no sexual desire. Some asexual people have romantic feelings, but they don't want to engage in sexual activity. There are lots of subcategories of asexuality. However, there are other things that could be going on too. If someone is telling me that they are not interested in sex, and we've gone through the, do you think you might be asexual? Do you? And they say, no, I don't think so. I think like I used to feel sexual, but now I don't. Then I'm gonna start going into um, more specific questions. Those questions would involve, what medication are you on? Lots of medications affect sexual functioning and sexual desire. Here's the one that most people don't wanna hear about and get very angry when you talk about is hormonal forms of birth control. Many types of hormonal forms of birth control can decrease sexual desire. The pill is a prime example. The pill has been found in most individuals who take it to reduce sexual desire. There was also a study that showed in most cases it caused a permanent reduction of sexual desire. Now, do not freak out and say, oh my God, I'm on the pill and I'm never gonna wanna have sex again. I didn't say your sexual desire will go away forever. I'm just saying it reduces it. Depo-Provera, another hormonal form of birth control, reduces sexual desire in many individuals. These are just two examples of hormonal forms of birth control that can reduce sexual desire. It doesn't happen in everyone but it happens way more frequently than people want to talk about. Because most people are like, you shouldn't tell them that it can reduce their sexual desire because then they won't take it. And then we'll have unplanned pregnancies. Here's my, here's my answer to this. I think informed consent is really important for individuals to make the proper choices for them. There are some hormonal forms of birth control that are um, less toxic to sexual desire than others. Um, but without giving individuals the information, they may feel like something's wrong with them. So I'm not against hormonal forms of birth control. Let me go on record and say that. I think hormonal birth controls can be fantastic for individuals, but knowing what can happen is important also. Lots of antidepressants, um, antipsychotics, heart medications can affect sexual desire. Basically, most medications are going to affect sexual desire. Not all of them, but most of them. So if you have a reduction in sexual desire, talk to your doctor. Another thing that could cause a reduction in sexual desire would be you were sexually assaulted or you had trauma, you were molested, and you haven't necessarily dealt fully with that or you haven't wanted to address it or it's not fully resolved or you haven't even thought about it, but I'm bringing it up so maybe it's something to think about. So reduction in sexual desire is a big complex issue and I just gave a couple examples. Some that are pathological in terms of like medication screwing with it, some that are um, societally based because of um, molestation and sexual assault and how our culture deals with that or doesn't deal with it. Um, and some that are non-pathological which is more of an orientation. But to get back to the question, how do I make my partner happy when I'm not interested? If you don't 
tell your partner that you're not interested, you're lying to them and you're engaging in unconsensual sexual activity if you go through with the activity. Now, the person who wrote this question specifically said, I'm not sexually active, but how can I make my partner happy? So the first thing I would say is tell your partner you're not interested in being sexually active. Give them the option to choose whether or not they want to engage in a relationship with you. Because if you don't do that, you're not allowing them to make their own choices. You're tricking them, and that's not nice. If your partner's like, okay, thanks for telling me you're not interested in being sexual. They'll probably have some questions for you. Like, is it me? Um, are you not attracted to me? Or is it something like you're just not interested at all? Um, or are there activities that we could engage in that would feel comfortable for you? Compromises can be made, but compromises can only be made when you talk about it. So again, we're back to that whole communication thing, which people are so scared about. So it all comes down to communication. You guys might find out that there's activities that you can do that will be mutually satisfying to one another. Your partner may be like, I'm not interested in sex either. Or you may brainstorm of ways that feel really good to you um, that keep you both happy. And you might also find out, hey, it was the medication that's totally screwing with me. Um, or I need to go see a therapist and really talk about the sexual assault stuff that happened to me or the trauma that occurred in my life that I haven't dealt with. Or you may find solace in knowing that there are lots of individuals, it's about 1% of the population, that identify as asexual, as an orientation. And so what I would recommend is um, visiting AVEN, the Asexuality Visibility Education Network, uh, which is the mecca of finding information in a community of individuals who also identify as asexual or questioning their lack of sexual desire and are building a community so they can support one another, which is super important. So thanks for the question. Thanks for asking and sitting through that complicated answer. Sexuality is never so simple, even with blowjobs. Thanks so much.